What's up? Today I will show you how to complete the Duck and Kappa Gauntlet for Alpha Omega. There are 30 rounds with unique objectives that you have to complete. If you manage to complete all 30 without a strike or a mistake, you can unlock this APD sticker. So let's begin with some general talk, shall we? Along this gauntlet you have to save points, because you need to buy Galva Knuckles on round 8 and Pekka Puncher Weapon on round 11. This costs 5000 points each. Keep in mind that you also have to buy doors, so I advise you to only buy perks after round 14. Because on round 14 you also have to buy a shotgun from the wall, but after that you can pretty much spend all your money. Now let's talk about the Raygun Mark II. You need to obtain an upgraded Mark II by round 17. So feel free to work on building the assembly station and unlocking the Mark II frames as early as you can. The sweet spot would be on round 6, 7 or 8. Once you have that, go ahead and pack a punch a weapon on round 11, two times, to begin a raygun quest. Guides for each raygun are in the description. If you want, you can use round 12 to fill up your upgrade circle with jolting jacks. That way, you have your Mark II upgrade already on round 12. Apart from that, you also have your defense objectives on round 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 where you are locked to a certain place and, last but not least, you have some difficult challenges in the late 20s that I will explain in a bit. So that was just an overview, let's talk about the loadout. Use Stamina, Dying Wish and Winter's Whale in your modifier slot. I also run Death Perception on Nukedown because it has some tight corners. For your elixirs, use whatever suits your playstyle, anywhere but here is a good choice, but you could also use some mega elixirs if you want. And apart from that, use the Strife Pistol with the Bayonet Operator mod, the Katana Specialist Weapon and Raid Fire Grenades. Round 1. Defend the spawn room. Pretty easy. Round 2. Zombies can only be damaged while much higher than them. Go on this truck to be on a higher position and throw a Raid Fire behind you and clear them in front of you with your pistol. Round 3. Each player has to be in a power switch area by the end of the round. Round 4. Unpacked pistols only. Use the bayonet knife on your strife pistol to get some points. Round 5. Weapons are only usable while crouched. I like to do the generator lockdown in this round. Activate it, but don't kill the zombies. If you are really getting stuck, use anywhere but here or crouch to kill them. After the lockdown, fix the four ventilation systems, but first get a shield. Crouch, throw a raid fire and fix the system. Round 6. Weapons are only usable while prone. Again, use Raid Fire to kill the zombies and fill up the TVs for the Mark II frames. Round 7. Activate the generator in a bunker area. You already did that. On round 8, get enough points to buy Galva Knuckles and get your Mark II frame if you haven't already. You don't get unlimited points during this round, but unlimited zombies. So kill the zombies until the nuketown sign hits zero and knife it with your galva knuckles to end the round. Round 9. Build the telepads and the shield, but be sure to get a new shield before you end the round. Round 10. Defend the streets and get 15 shield kills. Line up the zombies and kill them with your shield. If you run out of ammo, melee them. Round 11. Pack a punch a weapon but try to have enough points to pack a punch a second time. If you are happy with your ammo type, go ahead and work on the raygun upgrade. I would always advise you to use the yellow raygun that has unlimited ammo, but it's up to you. Round 12. Survive the jolting jack round. If you want, you could use them to fill up your Mark II upgrade circle. Round 13. Survive the round by only using nuke power-ups. So basically, nuke power-ups will spawn around the map and you have to collect 3 of them in a solo game to end the round. Always keep moving because you can easily get stuck. Round 14. Unpacked shotguns only. Trade in your Mark II for a shotgun and play it safe. After this round, get your Mark II back and buy all your perks. Round 15. Defend the bunker area. Just use your katana and Mark II and you should be good to go. Round 16. Galva Knuckles only. Play it safe and melee the zombies with your Galva Knuckles. Just play it safe and watch out. Round 17. Craft a modded Mark II by the end of the round. 
you should already have one, but if not, here's your last chance. But end the round next to an electric trap. Round 18. Pass through electric traps without touching them. Enough times. So end the round and as soon as round 18 appears, activate the trap. You can jump over it or slide under it. On solo you need to do this 10 times. Round 19. Kill enough empowered zombies. So stay in the bunker area, this will increase the gas zombies spawn. Let them turn the zombies and kill 20 of them. Round 20. Defend the transfusion facility area. Again, use the katana and raid fire grenades. Round 21. Shoot all mannequin heads around the map. I will link a video in the description with all their locations. Round 22. This one is tricky. You need to get enough kills with the prisoner holding gun within one minute. I picked it up way too soon. I advise you to train the zombies and then pick up the weapon. On solo, you need 15 kills. Round 23. Melee kills fill up your ammo. Not too bad, considering that the Galvanuckles are a 2 hit kill on this round. Round 24. Make 6 unique wall buys. Buy 5 weapons from the wall and as your 6th weapon, buy the Titan in a storage area. You will need the Titan for round 26. Round 25. Defend the yellow house backyard. Again, use the katana, your raid fire and the mark 2. Round 26. Use unpacked LMGs only. For this one, you really have to play it safe. You will need to refill your ammo a few times. I trained in a power switch area. Just play it safe and watch out. Round 27. Survive the round without being hit by the special atom unit. This one only runs towards you if you are not looking at him. Always keep a shield and end the round as soon as you can. Round 28. Use the telepads in 10 different areas. Pretty easy, but also try to activate the ventilation systems again on this round so you can back a punch your weapons again. By the way, I used a Spitfire for the last rounds. On round 29, you can only shoot if you are standing next to Sergeant Adam, so follow him and use everything you have. On round 30, you first need to kill all the Adam units and then put Avogadro inside the APD. Easier said than done, I know, especially if you don't have the yellow ray gun, but it's possible if you play it safe and take your time. That's it! Thanks for watching, I guess, and... Bye.